lights out everybody. about the Louvre and scummy pictures and junk like that. Fun. I want fun. Now, Jean, Jean Taylor, why do you always lag behind? You know that makes my task of shepherding you girls infinitely more difficult. Do I have to be shepherded? Do I look like a sheep? Now, Jean, my dear, please don't take that attitude again. Your father... My father. My father. What does my father understand about me? Now, Jean... What does anybody understand about a girl like me? My dear child, for 20 years I've conducted young ladies... For 20 years you've been a pain in the neck. Jean Taylor. A pain in the neck, that's what you are. Here we have the Mona Lisa. She's got a pan like a hunk of cheese, sir. Culture, girls. Culture. Culture. Jean Taylor. You make me sick. Jean Taylor, how could... Oh, don't pop up like that. You'll blow something. Cable. A cable to your father. Go ahead, cable him. Send for him. Who cares? What good's Paris if I don't get any fun out of it? You, you dried up prune. Uh, I've never been talked to like this in all my life. Well, that's what you are, a prune. A little dried up prune. The other girls... The other girls make me as sick as you make me sick. Fun. Fun's what I want. And neither you nor my father nor anybody else is going to stop me from having it. Now I understand how you broke your mother's heart. Oh, cut it out. That tune's made me sing in the choir long enough. I'm sick of it. Money's for fun and life's for fun. I'm young. My father's got plenty of what it takes... So starting right now, the devil with sculptures and paintings and all your culture. <laughs> this is Paris. Paris. And I'm going to have fun. 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 And I'm starting right now. Jean, Jean come back here. Jean. Jean, come back here. Chasing after me. Never catch up with me. Dried old prune. Fun. Fun. Paris, full of fun. Free now. Yeah, I'm free now. Until she gables father. Get all the fun I can while I'm free. Nobody knows me here. Get away with anything. Anything. Old prune face. Lost in the crowd. All of this is swell being alone. Man looking at me. Oh, I can only talk French. Fun. I gotta hear fun. Step over to the window. Stand there looking in. Someone might talk to me. Someone might. I beg your pardon. Do forgive me for startling you. <laughs> oh, I'm not startled. Aren't you Jean Taylor from New York? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Well, this is a coincidence. Sam Edwards, the name. I know you? Not exactly. I know your father. Oh. He often spoke to me of your, his favorite daughter, aren't you? Am I? <laughs> I get it. Sort of holds you down, doesn't he? You mean he tries to. <laughs> well, I can see he isn't very successful now, is he? Oh, I do all right. Alone? Certainly. Uh, going someplace in particular? Why? Why not go places with me? Then to my father's. What'd you say? Uh, nothing. I wish you would say something. For instance, that you'd like to have me show you Paris. The real Paris. Real Paris? Of course. The Paris the tourists never get to see. The Paris you read about. A living, lusty Paris. 
you go with me? Oh, mister, I'd love it. Excellent, excellent. Shall we go? You really mean the, the real Paris? Pure and unadulterated. <laughs> and not so pure. Mister, you're the answer to a maiden's prayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not much further. Kind of a funny street, isn't it? The real Paris. I hope. And here we are. Told you it wasn't much of a walk. You, you mean this house? That's right. The old Paris. It's old enough. Sure looks like a dive. If your father heard of this, oh. He won't. He won't. I should hope not. I thought you said this was a club. Oh, yes, indeed. I'll have our own key. Here you are, my dear. Fun a la carte. I'll take it a la mode. A la anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edwards, where are you? Just closing the door. All right, this way, my dear. See, how about some lights? How about it? In here, plenty of lights. I thought you said there'd be a swing band. I don't hear anything. Oh, not so impatient, all in good time. Step in here. It better be good. Uh, it will be. Say, there's nothing in here. What? Mr. Edwards, locking the door. Say, what's the idea? Seems like a good idea. I said, what's the idea? And I said, it seems like a good idea. You lied to me. I'm an opportunist. And show me the etchings. <laughs> Got plenty of insides, huh, kid? I'm not a kid. And if you think you can get away with anything, you're crazier than you look. Am I? You said you were a friend of my father's. I am. I am indeed a friend of his money. What? Money, money. You little sap, you don't think I'm interested in you? Don't you talk to me like that. <laughs> Still wet behind the ears. You let me out of here. Sit down, sit down. Let me out. Sit down. Yeah, that's the idea. After all, you're not talking to your dear papa now. I'm a fellow who likes his own way even more than you do. This will cost you plenty, mister. You mean it'll cost papa plenty? $150,000 plus interest. Let me out of here. $150,000 plus interest. Every dime he took from me, I'll get back. I don't know what you're talking about. Open that door and let me out of here. You think it was accidental, my meeting you? On the contrary, I planned every minute of it. I knew exactly what you've been doing ever since you stepped foot in Paris. Why shouldn't I know? I've been waiting for this. He took my money, that father of yours, and now he'll give it back. They, they know where I am. They'll find me. Ah, Winkle doesn't know where you are. You saw to that. You know. I just told you I made it my business to know. Yeah, he'll give me back my $150,000. That father of yours. You can't keep me here. On the contrary. I can do nothing else. I waited two years for a chance like this. Yeah, two years. Because I knew sooner or later you'd be alone. You... The only way I could get him to give me back my money. Well, now I've got you. The whole 19 spoiled year. I'm not afraid. Why should I be? He's old. I'm smarter than he is. I'm not afraid of him. What's he talking about my father? $150,000. Father stole it from him. Maybe he did. What do I care? He can't keep me here. i got to get out. I'm smarter than he is. Candlestick on table. Got to get him to turn his back. That's it. Turn his back. Grab candlestick. Mr. Edwards, look. Behind you. What? Nothing at all, except this. What? Candlestick. Why'd you get... You open that door. Put down that candlestick. Don't come near me. Why, you little good for nothing. Give me that candlestick. What are you trying... What did I do? Hit him so hard. Candlestick heavy in my hand. He's lying there so still. Maybe I... Something dark. Crawling along his head out on the floor. Blood. Blood. Killed him. Killed him! Here. Which key is it? Which key? I 
can't find the right one. Which is it? I've got to get out of here. Blood pouring out of them. I'll go crazy. My head. I'm all mixed up. This is the door we came in. It is. But why won't the keys? I've got to get out of here. I killed a man. i got to get out. Wind. Where? In the shadows. Another door. Open. I will get out. I will. Steps going down. So dark. Kill the man. Get away. Back to hotel. No one will know. Ever. Dark. I... I don't know. I... Water. Basement floor covered with water. Can't get out. Have to go up there. Find another way out. Go up there again. Must be another way out up there. The door. Shut. Wind blew it shut. Oh, I can't open it. Can't. I gotta get out. I got to. Go down again. See if water's deep. Wade through water if it isn't deep. Only up to my ankles. I will get out. I will. Must be a basement door. So dark. Killed him. If they catch me. They won't catch me. Never. Nobody knows. That sound. Running water. Over this way. I wonder why. Get out of here. No one will know. Can't know. No one saw me come in. Sound of water so loud. I wonder what... Drowning. Falling. My head. Yes. Remember? I remember. Stepped out. Water over my head. Filthy water. Pulling me under. I hear it. Yet, no water here. So dark. Where am I? Where? Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out. Stand up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bump my head. Stone roof above. Crawl. Crawl out of here. Killed a man. Gotta get out of here. Smash this head in. Gotta get out of here! But not that way, mademoiselle. <laughs> Another foot in that direction, and you would have fallen many feet into the water. Where are you? Beside you. <gasps> I saved your life, mademoiselle. What? You floated by drowning. I saved you. You saved me? We, oui, I did. In the dark, I saw you. Dark? What? Where am I? Where am I? You do not know. Where am I? Wet stone. Smell. Sound of water. You've got to tell me where I am. Oui. I tell you, mademoiselle. You are in one of the great sewers of Paris. This way, ma chérie. This way. What's the matter with you? Do you have to walk so fast? But I walk slowly, mademoiselle. So dark. Haven't you even got one match? I see quite well, mademoiselle. If you will follow me. And then walk slower. You're just a shadowy something. Walk slower, I tell you. I am a busy man, mademoiselle. You fool, don't you understand? The quicker you get me out of here, the more I'll pay you. I'll give you more than you make in a year. The sewers run beneath the streets like fingers of outstretched hands. Some of these tunnels are so old, 
But all the world has forgotten them. There's no water here. We. Oui. Yeah, that is true. Abandon this one. How much further? A step. A merely a step. You said that half an hour ago. Turn here. Turn here. Eh? Up the steps. A turn, and here we are. What are you talking about? It's still dark. We're still underground. We are here. What are you talking about? My workroom. Workroom? Who cares about your workroom? Out of here. You said you'd get me out of here. No, mademoiselle. I take you away from the water. Here. But I want to get out. Out where there's decent air. Out where there's light. Do you hear me? You've got to get me out of here. Oh, no. No. Whoever meets her, Louis, down here, stays here. You're crazy. No. You know what money is, don't you? Oui, mademoiselle. Then get it through that head of yours. I'll make you a rich man if you get me out of here. Rich. Rich. Just get me out of here. You are a noisy one. Crazy. You are. No. You are. What do you stay down here for if you aren't? I work. Work? What sort of work have you here? I make things. You will see. See? How can I see in this dark? Your eyes will accustom themselves in a few years. Get me out of here! Come. What? Come, mademoiselle. <laughs> Come. Wait for me. Wait for me. I will show you my work. Wait for me. If you'll get me out of here, I tell you, you'll never regret it. Where are you? I've lost you. Where are you? To your right, mes chérie. Turn to your right. My right? Oh, where are you, old man? Here, I'm here. But, but there's no light here. You didn't get me out. You didn't. My work. It is here. Who cares about your work? Get me out of here where there's light. Light? We. Oui. I will make light. I'm not afraid. I've never been afraid of the dark. I just want to see where I'm going, that's all. Hurry. Hurry up with the light. We. Oui. I bring you light. Miserable little kerosene lamp. Haven't you got anything stronger than that? My work. We oui. Now you will see my work. This way, mademoiselle. This way. You crazy old fool. Who cares about anything but getting out of here? Will you get it through your head? Money. I'll give you plenty of it. Just show me the way out of this place. Do you want me to go as crazy as you are? Here, my chérie. This is the place. My wonderful workshop. So quiet. Always quiet. No one to disturb, or Louis. No, indeed. Give me that lantern. I'll get out of here myself. No. That is impossible. My work. You see it? See it? What's that? Take it, mademoiselle. Take it in your hands. I made it. <laughs> With my own hands, I made it. It's a necklace. Oui, a necklace, eh? Exquisite work. You see for yourself, it is exquisite. Okay, so it's exquisite. Now, will you get me out of here? I made it myself. All by myself. No one helped me by myself. You crazy old fool. Give me that lantern. No. You must see how I make my beautiful necklaces. Here. Over here, mademoiselle. Look. Listen, you give me that lantern or I'll... Oui. From these I make it. Bones. We oui. beautiful bones. They come floating down the water to me. Bones of what? The foolish ones who kill themselves in the water. The sewer brings them to me. We oui. all of them. Oh. The miserable, unhappy flesh. I take it off them. Then at last, they are bones. Hard, white, useful bones for my work. See, that one in the corner. Take off my arm. No. 
You must come to look, my sherry. You must. Let go of my arm. Come, mademoiselle, come. <laughs> you see, this skull, I have it almost clean. You stand there. I will show you how I do it, eh? My saw, so I cut a good strong white piece off the top and clean the brains away, eh? Watch me. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Get away. He's chasing me. Old man. Can't run as fast as I can. Get away. Just get away, that's all. Sawing that skull. Dead man. I killed a man. Mademoiselle! You're after me. Get away. Oh, I will get away. Nightmare. Gotta get out. So dark. I gotta get the light. I'll go crazy if I don't get the light. Maybe if I yelled, someone would hear me. Workman. Someone in the sewer. If I yelled. Help! Help me! Help me! Help me! Is there someone down there to help me? Echo. Only Echo talking back to me. Oh, if only someone was here to get me out of here. Someone. I am here, mademoiselle. <laughs> Why did you want to run away from me? It was quite useless. Let go of me. Let go. It is no use to struggle, my sherry. Let go of me, you crazy fool. Let go of me. Do you hear? Take your hands off me. Let go of me. You come with me, mademoiselle. We with me if I have to drag you along. I need your help. I have wanted so very long. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> no. You see, you cannot reach me, mademoiselle. I twist your arm so. Oh, my arm. <laughs> yeah. Now you will do as I say. Eh? You will come quietly. Eh? Oui, ma chérie. You will help me too. Always help me. There is so much work to do. So many bones to be cut. <laughs> you are doing very well, mademoiselle. We oui, very well indeed. <laughs> stop! Stop! Fool! That is not the way to cut. Crosswise, crosswise. Crosswise. If you cut the other way, the bones will split. Splinters are not good for my work. Oui. Now you will try it again, eh, ma chérie? Ah. Bon. That is right, eh? That one, ma chérie, has long bones, did he not? Eh? <laughs> I remember the day I fixed him under the water. Huh? Still alive he was. <laughs> but I fixed that. We, oui, I fixed it. <laughs> he must have been like you. Rich, willful, no good for anything or anybody in life. <laughs> but in death, who oui, he, now he will be useful, eh? Keep sawing! Keep sawing! There is so much work to do, my sherry. What was I saying? Ah, about the bones, we. Oui. Ah, look about, my sherry. Chains and chains of pretty necklaces. I made them all myself. All myself. Everyone. Like lacy strings they are, eh? Uh, such beauty. We oui. Stop! Stop! Stop, I tell you! Uh, you hear it? You hear it? Uh, I ask you, you did not hear it? Come quickly. We have work to do. Come! Oh, no! Must I drag you after me always, eh? Come, come! Uh, another 
one. Just in time to... Uh, quickly, uh, come quickly. Hurting me. Then come quickly. Uh, yeah, your eyes can see in the dark now as well as mine. Eh? Uh, we, I train you. Louis train you well. Huh? Such a short time when you are doing so very well. Huh? You saw the bones into pieces almost as well as I do myself. Huh? Ah, uh, my sherry, it is good to have a woman around. We'll make this place a fairy land of necklace. Huh? So many of them, they will be like clouds above us. Huh? Quickly, quickly, move more quickly. Don't hurt me. Yeah. Oui, I must say, you have changed quite nicely. So docile. Quiet tears now, where before you were so noisy. <laughs> we, before you were another rich one, good for nothing but for trouble. Huh? Now you do my work for me. <laughs> that is the way it should be, my sherry. Uh, here, here we are. The water runs quite strongly here, doesn't it? Huh? The largest sewer of them all. To bring me more white ones for my work. <laughs> See! There it comes, another one. Oh, <laughs> really? Another one who tried to take his life, huh? I always know when one is coming. Oh, mon Dieu, he's a big one, huh? Strong bones he'll have. Get ah, him. Help me lift him out. No! No! Help me lift me, I see big one. He's still alive. He's alive, I see. Hold his head on the water. Hold it under. Hold it under, I tell you. Hold his hair. Hold him under. Woman, why did you lump in the water? Woman, come back. He's taking you away from me. Ula! Ula! And how is the fishing, my friend? How could I fish, Levi, this? <laughs> In my time, the Seine is full of fish. In your time? <laughs> Look, she was praying in. Where is there for a fish to live? I tell uh, you. Monsieur... Look, what? Uh, in the water. Voila. It's a promise. She's a woman. The, the current will take her right by us. Hold on to my arm. I'll get you. I'll get you. Oh, Hold on. Oh, oh, not too far. Oh, you will fall in. A little more. A little more. I got you. Pull me back. Oui. Pull me back now. Oui. Help me lift her up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, another one, I suppose, who found life too bitter. We, poor old women, must have had a long, miserable life. The misery in her face. She, yeah, she looks as if she might be an American. She... What do? She, she, she moved her lips? Oui. oui. Old woman, what is it? Eh? What are you saying? What would you like? A beautiful necklace. Necklace? A beautiful necklace. Out of bone. Real human bone. Lights Out, written especially for radio by Arch Obler, comes to you each Wednesday from our Chicago studios. This program has been heard in Canada over the facilities